do you ever pace? Man, honest question. I like to pace. I like to walk around and think stuff out. And this is what I see right now. You are attached to my head. Kinda. I'm actually holding you up with like a dad filming their daughter's recital or something kind of thing. Or if I had a helmet cam with a camera attachment, this is kind of what you'd see. This is how things look from my height. This is what it's like when I pace around a word. Words to know when I pace around a room, not a word. Those are some good words to know. As you know, I work at a school. And this is the school, and right now it is empty, and I'm on lunch, and I wanted to try something out. I mean, I'm always filming my face, so walk with me here as I work through some stuff, because I'm overwhelmed, and that's, that's such a strong word. We use overwhelmed so regularly. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Are you, though? Like, oh, yeah, hey, there's my hand. <laughs> uh, are you really overwhelmed or are you just busy? Do you just have a lot of stuff on your plate? I mean, in my case, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's all manageable. It's all written down. It's all able to be worked through and it's all definitely within my capability to get done. It's just, there's a lot of stuff to do and the thing I need to do to reach my goals, to support my family, to change career paths, all of it. There's so many different directions to go in. And that's that's overwhelming. You know, anyone you look up, any any article you read, any guide to it, how to become a developer, they're always like, just pick a skill, stick with it, and get the job. I'm like, awesome, awesome. That is really good advice. And you're right. And that's absolutely what I'm doing. But also, every job requires like two or three skills. Obviously, you can't quantify every skill needed for a job. I mean, you had to tie your shoes and be able to make eye contact and hold a conversation to whatever degree. I, yeah, so there's skills. But this job requires X amount of JavaScript. And this job requires Java itself. And that one, Python. And they all require some kind of work with SQL. And then... <laughs> You throw in like the different uh, development processes, whether it's DevOps or Agile or whatnot, and that that will come with experience. I don't need to worry about that right now. Well, what I'm stuck on is: do I need to make this specific project in Java? Is is this going to benefit me? And then do I just stick? with Java for like every single project that I'm working on as I'm going through the interview process and, and adding to a portfolio so that I get better and better over time to get a certain position? Or should I go with what's the most fun? What's the easiest? What's the, what comes most naturally to me? Because that doesn't make sense for the, the arc of learning, right? I mean, learning is difficult in itself. So it's not beneficial to me to shy away from doing a difficult thing, from <sighs> practicing a language that may not make absolute sense to me right away. That's that's fine. I'm, every now and then I have to step over stuff, like we got little chairs. <laughs> so I'm kind of watching that and trying not to disturb any teachers that came in today. And So I'm talking kind of quiet. And, and I feel super self-conscious about this because I'm... No, our self-conscious in general about, A, I'm, like, filming at my work. Is that okay? <laughs> it's fine. There's no kids in the room. I'm not violating any problems. There's no names on the board or anything. I mean, you can pause at every shot in this video. You're not going to see anything. Um, but, I don't know. I've never filmed on campus. I'm a little nervous there. And we're talking about something that I'm unsure about. So, I, just in general feel like my heart, like my inside, is a, a roiling ball of uncertainty. Maybe that's also why I don't want to be behind a camera right now. In front of a camera. I am behind a camera. Regardless. I don't know what to do with myself career-wise. So this is what I do on my lunch, because today I'm not eating. Today is Wednesday, and 
it's a good day to fast. And so lunchtime is pacing and wondering, do I build everything in Java and get really good with Android Studio and focus completely on, on that? Because you want to, air quotes, master Java. <laughs> and then you just have, you have background stuff that you're kind of cursory uh, level of expertise with. Um, say like SQL or I also have Python experience or I really enjoyed <laughs> making that game in Python. I want to work on that some more because I've been experimenting with Pygame and now I can I can turn the GUI from the uh, <laughs> uh how do you say like I made the first GUI. It's basically just a text adventure type thing where there's some buttons and, and it displays in text what's happening to the characters. And, and it worked well for this fighting sim. But that's no fun. You want to see the little sprites and have them attack each other and whatnot. And so I've been playing around with Pi Game. I'm like, let's make a GUI for that fighting sim and, and go on to the next steps of that fighting game because that, like, complete the project. So it, <laughs> So it's not just a turn meter generator that I can show off, which is cool by itself, but I have a finished product. Does that make sense? Like something I could ship, even if it was just a one button, click, click, attack, attack, whatever. It would be really fun to work on that project some more, but that project doesn't fall along the lines of mobile developer. I'm not making a mobile app out of that fighting game. It's written in Python. I am making mobile apps out of Java. Uh, okay. Okay, so... Sh should I just focus on the mobile market? I mean, mobile's cool. There are, there are going to be jobs for mobile in the next five years. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I hope. <laughs> I have no reason to believe there won't be. Right. What are we all going to do? Like, throw our phones in the ocean? No. No. Mobile will be there. But is that silly to try to get a job in the mobile market in, with no programming job experience? Uh, maybe. What, what, what would be better? What are the alternatives? Um, web developer? Okay, so you're focusing more on, on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Nah. Now, nah, what are you? Front end? Are you back end? You can go full stack. Do you know CSS? No, I don't. Have you played around with it before? Yeah, that and HTML, sure, sure. I mean, I'd identify it if I was looking at it. <laughs> Great, clearly at the developer level, aka you're going to start from scratch and like start all over again. You have a handle, me, obviously talking to myself. You have a handle on, on Python. You have a handle on Java. You, you have some IDEs that you work in that turn out fairly well for you um i like coding python in notepad plus plus it's fun <laughs> you can run it in the command line and it makes me feel like a total hacker <laughs> i know that sounds really funny uh, i don't want to be a game developer because they don't quite make the money that i'm looking to make because my wife and i want five thousand children Okay. The market is fairly saturated, so I read on things like Stack Overflow. And with that pay issue, I mean, they're, they're still a developer, right? So they're probably making more than 10000 a year, obviously. But, and I'm not going into this for the money, first of all. That's some BS right there. Everyone I've known in any industry that goes into things for money sucks. Both as a person and... Just the way they conduct the job. They they weren't necessarily summed up as bad people. Obviously, I, I don't think everyone's a full asshole. Remember? <laughs> what movie was that that it came from? Uh, I think it's Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Anyway. Don't go into an industry for just the money. That's ridiculous. But being a developer does support my wife and I's dreams. Okay makes a solid base for us to work on building the different dreams that we have for ourselves and our family. Uh, and it's fun. I mean, it it's not always fun 
dear God, when you're staring at a, a page of code and you're hitting your head against your monitor and you don't know what's wrong with it and you're just pulling your hair out trying to figure out why won't it produce the results the occlusion i get it it's not always fun and then you stick through it and it, i like it because it's really creative i'm an incredibly creative person i like being creative when i'm in a job that's too rote or routine or it's the same thing every day it's like it's it feels like death it's horrible and i do it because i have goals i do it because there are things in on my horizon that uh, dictate I need to be working right now. I don't like being a courier of people's foods. Oh, I take that back. Being a courier is not that bad. But I do it because it makes extra money. <laughs> because it's a really easy way to make extra money. Right? And that's the point. <laughs> I need to make some money, get out of debt build some business, buy a house, put some kids through college, and, you know, take my wife out from time to time. Great. <sighs> but I like coding because it's creative. As you, you write down some, some words on a page, let's say, notepad, whatever, and you click run, you, you type a command, and it produces whatever you've decided it should produce. That's amazing. That is so amazing. That is... I'm a nerd for tech. So just pick a project and you can build it. Uh, awesome. That's so cool. So that's what's on my mind right now. I, there's more to it. There is, there's definitely more to it, but I don't know what to focus on. I don't know if my efforts are going to be worth it in the end. I don't know if my, by focusing on Python right now, is that going to net me the job that, A, is there a job for it? I mean, sure. Looking online, there's, there's plenty of Python developer jobs. Okay. Plenty of Java. Okay. But is that the way I get my first job? Is the, does For those positions, a lot of them have X years of experience required. A lot of them are like, here's these, these supplemental skills that I was talking about, like SQL, another language, this API, that API, whatever. I'm like, oh, man. So I've got to cover a lot of bases with this. Is this the right thing? What if I go into web development and... And I hate it. I want to transition into mobile. Is that easier than transitioning from IT to development? Because this isn't that bad. This really isn't that bad. I'm, at least I have some kind of foot in the tech industry, and whether or not I'm in the development side of things. That's fine. <sighs> I doubt I'm going to be a web developer. And then, like, hmm. So am I worried about the future of these careers? Mm, no, question mark. Am I worried that automation is going to get rid of it? No, question mark. <laughs> I mean, there's already code making machines where it's like you put in your specifications and it'll write up simple code for you. Okay, that's, that's a thing. Those are only going to get more advanced. So will coding go away? Base, uh, because of automation in the near future? I doubt it. And when I say near future, like next 20 years, again, I doubt it. You're still going to need coders to run those automated programs. And see, it's at this point, I'm like, you're thinking way too much. You're just, you're thinking too much. You need to go back <laughs> to just working on the projects. Just go code. Just, just go do the thing that you want to get hired for. And it, there may be trip-ups, and there, there may not be a market for what you study, but it's, it's the fact that you're actually studying that, that hard skill. That's what's going to get you employed. Right? It doesn't matter if it's in Python or Java or your mom's language. It doesn't matter. It's the coding skill that matters. <laughs> Can you pass a technical interview? <laughs> Get up to the whiteboard, boy. 
reverse the string. I highly doubt they'll call me boy in an interview, but my point is the same. It, you got to be able to pass the interview and actually deliver once you're hired with those skills. How long does it take to learn a new language? You relearned Java very, very quickly. Okay, I'm studying SQL on the side. I'm studying the SQL. I looked at it for like 30 minutes yesterday. But I plan <laughs> to be studying SQL more. But A, Code Academy, awesome. And B, implementing a, there's a library in Python again. Look at that. Um, for for like a SQLite or something along those lines. So there's there's a project there that definitely needs to get used. And I want to implement that with that fighting game. So that you can save the characters that you have and pull them from a database and you know a little bit more complicated than say saving it all to a notepad and then you know reading the the notepad file text file and uh, translating that so i I don't know I don't... this has been really helpful actually. you can kind of get a glimpse into how scattered my mind is right now, and I'm sure some of you can relate. Where to go with your life? It's always uncertain. There's no like guiding light. You just kind of do shit and figure out what works and what doesn't, what you like and what you don't. And you go where you gotta go. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy with my life. I'm very happy with the paths I've taken and where I'm going and what I can do with myself and and for my family. I'm not worried about this IT job. It'll be here while I'm learning. I want this coding job by the end of the year. I want it. I'm working on it. But I know that there isn't too much of a hard timeline on me. It's not like a, a super duper crunch. I'm good at, at making some extra dollars driving around. Got to fix a cord that just dropped. There you go, cord. <laughs> I'm good at doing side gigs for extra money. I'm good at showing up and being responsible at work. And I'm good at making time when I'm off of both of those things to learn, practice, and build projects so that I can change careers. Awesome. Let's rephrase that. Upgrade careers. Man, if I'm setting up servers and making sure people's computers are up to date and they're connected to internet for the rest of my life i'm not gonna be happy with the rest of my life it's not about being happy that's not the end goal it's about not having super duper regret once you get older be really into work <sighs> that's cute actually it's about having a fulfilling life how fully are you living your life and A, the pay in the IT career isn't what I need it to be. And B, this stuff is hair-pullingly frustrating. <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, you you take a deep breath and drink some water and... I got free coffee here, and that's nice. But <laughs> Holy cow. I only have another computer issue. I'm like, can you figure it out? I'm... Trying to write a new video game here so I can support my 18 kids. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'll be right there. Got to install Adobe Reader or something. I didn't... <laughs> That's a reference to a story. If you link it down below before I do, you win a prize. And that prize is a crisp high five. Um, hmm. So definitely don't stay in a career where you're... Not necessarily unsatisfied. Well, yeah, if you're unsatisfied, get out of that. But find a way out of it. Don't just like quit and become homeless the next day. Though in some situations I might suggest that. Because <laughs> sometimes you just got to jump off the cliff and learn how to fly on the way down. But really, if you're in a place like I am, stay stable. <laughs> do it in an organized way build your portfolio and do the interviews and then turn in a two week notice don't or a two month notice you know I mean communicate with your boss like hey this is what I'm doing sometimes you can move internally in companies as well and that's a good idea I think I will do that later this month so 
Thank you. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you for sticking it out this long. Oh my gosh. I really am super duper excited for this. I've never had a job where something I built is used by other people. Um, that's not entirely true. I mean, working in manufacturing, that's, that's a whole bundle of people touching your work. But, and IT, I guess, for that measure. Yeah. But I've never been an engineer. And being a software engineer is flipping cool. Because you can spend a week working on something that then your kids can play with. And when you combine that with, like, Arduino, and you make them a little robot... Oh my god, you know how fun it would be to teach kids circuits? That's awesome. That'd be, that'd be so fun. <laughs> my grandpa was into carpentry. I'm into robotics. Whee! <sighs> yeah. So, uh, to sum up, my current goal to try to assuage some of this inconsistency, uh, uncertainty fear, doubt, self-doubt, to kind of alleviate that. I'm definitely going to finish an app, an app, another app in Java. I made a, a stopwatch. Woo! <laughs> it's useful. I definitely need to polish it a bit and then publish it, download it on my phone because it's exactly what I want or none of the other apps really fit what I needed. And I'm working on a uh, ticket tracker as well for a company. They're going to need a mobile app that tracks problems for the company, assigns it to workers, the whole nine yards of a ticket tracker. Think like uh, Happy Fox or Jira or something along those lines, okay? That's going in Java. That's going mobile. And then, then honestly, I'm just going to focus on the Python. There's so many libraries to learn. There's so much applicability. I mean, data science is cool. I don't think that's my focus. I really think I'm going more of a software build with that. Uh, so like software engineer, Python focus, gonna have to have SQL to back that up. I've seen too many ads for jobs and they're all saying SQL. It's like, you're gonna be focusing on building software, need SQL. I'm like, interesting. So we're pulling data from somewhere? I have no idea. So that's the goal. Java apps, Python my face off. Start applying in the next month. Because <sighs> that's what I told my wife. End of May, I'd start applying. Am I ready to apply? I don't feel ready to apply. When do you ever feel ready to apply, though? I mean, you, like, invent Facebook. And you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready. Just do it. Just show up. Get that interview practice. Odds are I'm not going to get the first one anyway. <laughs> so get in there and practice. Okay. After lunch, I've got a nice glass of water to drink. Mmm. <laughs> I appreciate your kindness watching this. Have a great day. Good luck on your projects. And uh, wish me luck on mine. Here goes. <laughs> Bye. And if I may.